IL-2 Sturmovik is a World War II air combat flight simulation game. I'm playing an Iron Man dynamic career mode right now, which means it is a permadeath career mode, and if I die, that career ends. Our pilot's name is Gary White, and when we last talked to Gary White, he had just completed his first mission where he downed four light fighters as part of a ground cover operation. Today is the 28th of December, 1944. The Battle of the Bulge has ended, and Gary White and the rest of the 328th Fighter Squadron have two missions to perform sequentially on the 28th and the 29th of December. Today, on the 28th, the 328th Fighter Squadron will take off from Osh Airfield and move east to perform ground cover air operations in support of friendly ground units. This mission was largely uneventful. I did score my fifth kill against a German light fighter, making Gary White officially an ace. Fighter spotted six o'clock, range about three and a half miles. Engage. Hits. 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 Come on. Dead yet, my guy. This guy's still maneuvering. There we go, good hits. Yeah, he looks like he's dead stick now. Yeah, that's dead stick. There we go. See ya, buddy. After destroying that enemy aircraft, we did make it back to base, where I'm still learning to cope with landing. As always, this is an Iron Man campaign. It's a permadeath campaign. That means if it doesn't go my way, if I'm shot down, that's the end of it. That's the end of Gary. That's the end of this series. The stakes are high, and I need to fly like they are, in fact, high. There is no restart button. As the sun rose on the 29th of December, we faced heavy weather conditions with a low, thick cloud deck, some strong winds, and heavy precipitation as we moved through those layers of clouds. The 328th Fighter Squadron arrayed themselves on the runway and took off en route to perform a link up in the air with a bomber fleet that was en route to bomb a target deep behind enemy line just north of Dusseldorf. Our first full fledged behind enemy lines bomber escort mission. And a bomber escort mission is one of the reasons that the P 51 appealed to me. Of course, it's infamous for performing that role throughout World War II. And in today's mission, we take off and we join those bombers en route to the target. Roughman 8 is airborne. Off the throttle. Over. Flaps retracted. Lights off. Roughman 8, airborne. Good day for a bombing mission. I don't know where these bombers are at we're supposed to be escorting. Oh, there they are. <laughs> How cool is that? We've rendezvoused with our bombers. We're kind of flying top cover back and forth over them. Rather than taking up a formation, we're hovering above that bomber flight, maintaining energy. See them right here? Keeping all of our energy. Just taking care of these guys all the way to their target. Almost like sharks just swimming around looking for something. 
After taking in the beautiful morning sunrise on the 29th of December 1944, Gary White and the rest of the 328th Fighter Squadron link up with the bombers en route to target and take up a top cover position, holding high above the bomber formation, preserving the energy and prepared to swoop down on any Luftwaffe that may attack the bomber formation. Sure enough, after a few minutes in this holding pattern, we spot enemy fighters. North low, five and a half miles. Coming left to north. I don't want to leave the bombers. Is that our guy? Aging fighter to the northwest. Range about two miles out. Rockland. Here we go. Two. Aging fighter to the northwest. Range about two miles out. Speed, too much energy. Here we go. Climb, 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 climb. Pull, pull. Let's go. Command seven. Engaging fighter. Good. Watch that speed. Watch that speed. Range three miles out. Here we go. Turn it up. Roughly eight. Engaging 150. fighter to the northeast. High. Range half mile out. Here we go. Rough man. Four. Engaging fighter. Oh shit. Southwest. Son of a seven bitch. engaging fighter to the north branch about one mile out. That was insanely close. Rough man seven engaging fighter low range half mile out. Roughman eight engaging fighter range half mile out. Six spears clear bombers to the front. Rough bogey's high. Eight. That's an enemy. Here we go. Rough He's coming after our bombers. Four. Engaging fighter to the southwest. Low range three miles. Out, man. Seven, engaging fighter to the south. Range, half mile. Out, full ring, full formation. Release from my command. Out, rough moon, eight, engaging fighter to the southwest. Range, about three and a half miles. Out. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Trying to get me to overshoot. He's hurt bad. Come on, get the guns on him. Throttle, throttle, power, power. After just barely escaping a surprise attack from an enemy fighter, we managed to outmaneuver him and then damage his aircraft enough that he is unable to affect our bomber formation and forced to depart the area before drawing our attention to yet another enemy fighter that's already being pursued by several other P-51s from the 328th. It appears as though that enemy fighter has been dispatched, but in fact he continues to maneuver despite being close to the ground. No? They didn't get him. dispatch of the final German aircraft forcing the pilot to ditch near his home airfield before finally returning to the bomber formation and escorting them all the way home.
After we receive confirmation that those bombers are indeed en route to their airfield, we turn back to Ash, where we perform our first clean landing of the campaign, a habit that I hope to continue. All right, bombers just got approval to land from their flight lead. They're all breaking off and headed home. So are we. See ya, boys. enjoying my time in IL-2 Sturmovik, and I'm certainly interested in getting into some multiplayer action, so if you'd like to join me in that adventure, I invite you to come onto the Discord channel, shoot me a note, and I'd love to fly with you sometime. Until then, I'd appreciate your support by simply subscribing to the channel. I'm Controlled Pairs, and I play the most immersive PC games in the world. This is IL-2 Sturmovik, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>